What's up, motherfuckers? John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today, I want to discuss the topic of having an emotional connection with girls that you're dating, with girls that you're courting, so to speak, okay? And why this is so important and why so many guys neglect it, okay? Before we continue, please press the subscribe button below if you are not already a subscriber to my channel. I just looked at the stats. And it's like over half the people that are watching videos are not yet subscribed. Okay, you can get alerted every time there's a new video Sunday through Thursday. Okay, right to your phone. If you press the subscribe button, press notification bell. Okay, best pickup channel on the internet. As you can see clearly. So, and my subscriber base will catch up. I didn't get serious about YouTube until about February and I was at about 2,000 subscribers. So we more than tripled and uh, we are well on our way. So the topic, having the emotional connection. Okay, I'll start off with some of the history of where this principle kind of is hinted at by former guys in the seduction community, okay, the pioneers. So Mystery, okay, who invented the mystery method, he talks about the seven hour rule. What is the seven hour rule? The seven hour rule is that you need on average seven hours, he says four to 10 hours of building comfort with a girl before she is comfortable enough to have sex with you without getting what he refers to as buyer's remorse. Now buyer's remorse refers to if the girl sleeps with you prematurely before you've accomplished this requisite level, level of comfort, then she's going to feel slutty and feel guilty about the hookup. And she's going to associate these slutty feelings with you. She's gonna think that you see her as a slut. She's gonna see herself as a slut. Okay, society sees her as a slut, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I think mystery is wrong that you need this quantitative hour amount of comfort, okay? But it's fine because he was just giving you kind of a range. But I think it's far too long if you do certain specific tricks. I think it's rather a qualitative threshold. Okay, a girl needs to be comfort comfortable enough qualitatively. All right, that's the key distinction. So there's key things that I'll do, and I'll, I'll make a separate video about this, that import, like I call importing comfort on credit, where I say, oh, I feel a really special connection with you. Um, you know, I can tell we're gonna hang out a lot more, so it doesn't matter if we sleep together tonight, et cetera, et cetera. So you can sleep with a girl much sooner and her still not getting buyer's remorse. Okay, but now when, once she comes on to, if you're doing those things to get the qualitative amount of comfort, but now when she comes on your rotation and becomes a rotation girl, okay, for lack of a, a better term, she, and I talk about in a video, you need like three separate bangs, okay, to get her as a regular, it's part of your harem. And I have a video called Building Imagining Rotations, okay? So once she's become a regular, and I thought of this because I have a, a dinner date tonight with this Ukrainian, she's 20 years old, Okay, she's my official girlfriend. Don't worry, I'm not monogamous. At least not on my, not on my end. Um, that makes me an asshole, yes. But I'm, I'm, I have over 10 other girls in my rotation, but I just wanted to lock her in hard with the official label. But that being said, um, this chick's a lingerie model. Okay, in her pictures where she has like some edits done, you know, for these shoots, She's very close to a 10, okay? Without the edits, she's like a 9.5. But this chick has like a super nice body, almost perfect, it's like insane. When we're walking around, dudes are fucking staring at her, they're pointing, they're catcalling, et cetera. And she wears like, you know, tight, I tell her to wear like tight dresses that are short, that have like cleavage spilling out, all this shit. Um, <laughs> it's fucking awesome. But here's the thing, she has dudes like she could have any dude, right? There's dudes that are like hitting her up from all angles. And she's always like texting me like, hey, I'm bored, can I come over? Like, miss you, like, I miss you, do you miss me? Like, you know, all this shit. And I'm not gonna go into all the psychology of how I handle those situations, right? Where I'll like purposely delay responding. And then I'll, I'll say like, oh, cute wink face or something instead of miss you too. There's key strategic things I'm doing on that end to kind of withhold validation from a girl that's near 10. It's also another topic for a separate video. I'll write those two down. But here's the point. We have an emotional connection. If a girl, if you're just fucking a girl and then like sending her home, which I do do a bunch of times with her and with other girls, 
but I also make sure I build an emotional connection with them. If you're just fucking them and treating them like a piece of meat, they're going to feel it and they're going to feel shitty about it. And that's going to bring back in that buyer's remorse stuff. Even if you slept with her multiple times, she doesn't want to just be like fucking pumped and dumped and then hear from you the next time you're horny again. Okay. There's no, that's not enriching to her. Um, and I should note, and I, I learned this from living in Ukraine, the Ukrainians can take another video. <laughs> just pumping out video ideas here. The Ukrainians can take like two to four dates on average to close. All right. So on our first date, she's saying all this shit. Oh, I don't go back to someone's house on the first date, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, all right, let's go to this other fucking place. I know that I have to like put in more work up front with the Ukrainians. Let's go to this other place. So we spent about an hour at the first place, hour at the second place. And then I'm like, oh, let's go back to my place. Still not ready. Oh, no, no, no. You know, so I could have just sent her home and been like pissed off. Instead, I'm like, let's go to the cinema, which is what they call the fucking movie theater in Europe. And so we go and we watch this really shitty movie. Turned out to be shitty, but thought it was going to be good. With uh, fucking Clint Eastwood, who's like 80 or 90 now. It's pretty boring. It's like running drugs. Anyways, <laughs> um, what the fuck? Okay, and then I'm like, oh, you should stay over. Pinky promising her that nothing's going to happen. Okay. And then, of course... I, I finally convinced her to come over. But this is like after I put in hours, but I, you know, and that kind of goes against what I was just saying before about the, the quantitative <laughs> amount of comfort stuff. But usually I'm closing girls within like an hour on the first date. Like if they come straight to the house, they're closed within like 30 minutes. If they come to a public date, we're usually leaving the public date between 45 and 75 minutes. And then she closes like 10 to 20 minutes after getting back home. Okay. And I'm very careful to not let the buyer's remorse stuff happen because the buyer's remorse stuff is a very real thing. Um, RSD, real social dynamics, they kind of just did away with that. I used to live with man whore, as some of you guys know, and he told me that like Tyler just, you know, got rid of the buyer's remorse concept, which is fucking retarded, you know, because they're, they're focusing on like, Oh, do, do, do these quick polls, et cetera. You try and use all this flash shitty game, et cetera, et cetera. But, Tyler just kind of like threw that out, even though it's a very real thing. I've been cognizant of it. I was a not official student of mysteries, but I read the mystery method and broke my first hundred girls using mystery method. Hit my first hundred back in June 2012, which is fucking over seven years ago now. Okay, um, I'm not even that old. 35. <laughs> Talking like a fucking uh, grandfather here, retired. Um. Okay, so point being, she has all these options, right? Not only do I withhold some validation over text and not feed into that missing you shit, okay? And I also cancel on her to see other girls. Like, it's, it's insane because she's really hot, but I have other really hot chicks, okay? So, like, I think I've canceled on her, like, twice this week where she was supposed to come over and I'm, I was just like, oh, I can't. I'm stuck on work meetings, etc. and I was fucking other chicks, Okay. And she's at home like, babe, I'm bored. Like, hurry up with your work, right? And I'm like fucking seeing this after like a sex session. And then uh, it's just at this stage, okay, it's just not that important to me. Like, I'm not like, oh, my God, I need to bang this this hot chick as much as I can. And she just got fucking lip injections. She's like, no blowjobs this week, babe. <laughs> it's funny because her English is kind of shitty. And she's like, but you can still perform cunnilingus on me. She calls it by like the official name. For those of you who don't, don't know that that's the official term for eating pussy. <laughs> by the way, I'm glad I, there's a side note here to, to my little story and instructional video today. It's cool. I get like really good feedback. Guys are like, you're one of the only guys in this like seduction and pickup world. It doesn't seem like a fucking total pussy like, like tool. Like you're actually living the life. Like you guys see me get interrupted on videos of chicks coming over. Anyone that knows me knows that I have tons of chicks. I'm with them all the time. Whereas a lot of these dudes on YouTube are just like full out like beta tools. <laughs> I get sent guys, guys will send me videos by like coach Corey Wayne or like uh, school of attraction and just watching like any one of their videos for like 
10, 15 seconds, you just immediately know, like, this guy is not fucking hot pussy. Like, no way in hell. It's, like, very easy to pick up on that. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> so, to my point, like, this chick, I've built an emotional connection. Well, like, tonight, for instance. Like, we're going to, like, a nice dinner. Okay, and I only do this once in a while with her. But, like, Mystery talks about, like, you don't want to give them the whole, what's he call it? He, he calls it like cat string theory, right? Like if you were to dangle a, a string in front of a cat, um, the cat would like jump up and try to do tricks to get the, the ball of yarn, okay? To get the, the string. If you give it the ball of yarn, it doesn't want it. So <laughs> I'm doing these nice things for her here and there. Okay, like I'll take her out for a nice dinner. Like she's gonna wear like her hottest dress, like do herself all up, like wear high heels, all this shit. I'll wear decent clothes. We'll go to this fucking dinner, like everyone will be staring at her and all this shit. And then, you know, I'm not I'm not really doing that kind of stuff to, to gain points. Like when we're when we're out to the dinner, I'll I'll be like genuinely asking about her and all this stuff, and she's not like the brightest girl. <laughs> but we will have you know, conversation where I'm taking interest in what's going on in her life, even though there's not not a whole lot going on. It's insane. Some of these hot girls, like they're literally just like fucking bored. Like, like she's either do, she does like lingerie shoots, and like she's I don't know. It's like she doesn't have a lot of friends or like many hobbies or anything like that. She's just like a hot chick, like bored at home with like her dog. It's like it's like kind of it's funny. I mean, guys and guys are like pedestalizing a girl like that you know if you took away her looks there's really there's really not a whole lot going on um <laughs> you know that be, I, I do like full package chicks too i don't just date fucking bimbos but she's she's super hot so she's fun we watch the madagascar movies <laughs> okay so <clears throat> watch her fucking find this one day <clears throat> um to summarize, because I've been kind of jumping around a little bit. To summarize, like, it's okay to take your rotation girls out on dates. It's okay to go, to do things. Like, I used to be, like, super against shit that was, like, like non-sexual. Like, okay, she wants to go for a walk. That's stupid because we're not fucking. Right? And now I'm not like, yeah, let's, let's, like, always do stupid shit. But it's important to do stupid shit. <laughs> or maybe you like doing stuff like that. It's important to go on walks with them or, like, you know, surprise them with something every once in a while or like, you know, do stuff that's going to make them feel like you appreciate them for more than their body, right? And I'll make explicit statements. I'll be like, because cause a, a lot of times I'm getting accused of like, oh, you just want me because I'm, I'm like good looking. You just want me for sex. Um, and I constantly have to be like, no, like I have a bunch of options with chicks, which little do they know, uh, you know, the sex is just like a small little piece, right? Like, and then if they're ever really, really like pressing, like, oh, I really think you just want me for sex, I will do like one or two dates. Sounds stupid, but I'll do like one or two dates where I'm like, no, I don't want to have sex on this date. Like, I want to show to you, like, so you understand, like, you mean more to me than sex, okay? Even if they don't, right? And this kind of like buys you like some more weeks or months. <laughs> Sometimes I take a step back at what I'm saying and I, I realize why some people consider me a huge asshole when they listen to this shit. But, okay, on one hand, you definitely want to, <laughs> you want you should want to connect with them because you enjoy spending time with them. I actually do enjoy spending time with most of them uh, besides the sex. And it makes the sex better too if you have an emotional connection. But that's what keeps the girls around. Like a lot of, a lot of guys are like, oh, I can't keep a girl around, okay? You need to basically just treat her like a girlfriend, but don't be a pussy about it, okay? So that means, you know, you can send her like fun little shit here and there over text. Just don't be needy, don't be a pussy, don't over text, don't send long paragraphs, don't tell her, oh, I miss you so much and all this stupid shit like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's okay to take her out for a nice dinner. It's okay to, you know, Go fucking sit at the movie theater once in a while and finger, you know, below the popcorn. Do cool shit with your chicks. 
make them have this bond with you, all right? And, and eventually, like, it'll fucking run out. Like, I had a chick in Poland that I've had on rotation for, like, about a year. And she's like, I've never had something like this. Like, I'm all, <laughs> like, like we're, we've never been boyfriend, girlfriend. She's like, I don't see this, like, moving to the next stage. She's like, you know, all this stuff, it, it, it's, like, run its course. We had, like, a, a really great run and everything like that. But she's, like, looking for, like, a family and all this shit. And she knows that that's not me. And... <laughs> but you know we are like boyfriend girlfriend the whole time without the label the, the point is a lot of you guys that are doing this and a lot of coaches that are teaching this have kind of like this callous meaningless relationship with the chick and that's just not gonna be of benefit to you in the short to long term like you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of chicks just like ghosting you or making up excuses because she feels this this sluttiness and this, this shame and all this stuff. And she's going to associate with you that with you. She doesn't want to be this piece of meat that just gets railed out. Okay. So I'll make a video uh, probably tomorrow on the seven hour rule and my tricks for importing qualitative comfort on credit. Um, I need to go back through this and write down those other videos, ideas I had. And hopefully I will pick a fun green screen background here. Please like and subscribe to be alerted of my new videos Sunday to Thursday. Really, like, if you're one of those people watching right now that's not subscribed and that fucking greater than 50%, it's like 54% in the past month they're, like, not subscribed. Like, fucking subscribe. This channel has a lot of really good shit. We need to, to boost those sub numbers to catch up with some of these retards out there that are just shoveling dog shit at you. Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne. If you're struggling in your personal or professional life, I'd like to give you both of my best-selling self-help books for free. Coach Corey Wayne has like hundreds of thousands. <laughs> I'm gonna put a, a couple pictures of this dude up. Like it's mind-boggling, actually, what this dude looks like. And, and he's claiming to be some dating expert. Anyways, I'm probably gonna try to get on his channel though, just, just for shits and giggles. <clears throat> um, but yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to take your, your hose to dinner.